Cool racing in the Fanatec GT World Challenge, powered by AWS. This is how it played out on a beautiful afternoon in southeast Queensland. Great fight between the pros at the start. This was the biggest moment of the race, and Michael Caruso, a really unfortunate incident for Brad Schumacher. Yeah, and it's good to see the guys shaking hands. It, you know, he knows that was intention, unintentional, and. Um, Garth just went on and did what he did. You know, he, Garth he, Tender does, really. That's exactly right. And these were the pit stops. So there was an advantage to Liam Talbot and Fraser Ross. They jumped the 888 car, had extra pit stop time on account of winning yesterday. Tough old day for Supervan Supermarkets Racing. James Kandouris and Theo both had spins throughout that one. And then this was the key pass for the lead. Decisive, aggressive, down the inside. And kind of one wrestles the race lead away from Tony Bates. This battle, though, it wasn't quite so simple. Talbot launched an attack, ran wide. And the G-Technica had to go about it all over again. He tried that two times at turn three, and then this at turn six. And finally, after coming to blows a couple of times, there was damage to the front of the Bates car. And that then allowed Prince Jeffrey to get through as well. And what was a really good performance from the man from Johor, part of Malaysia who's forging a really good GT career. But in the end, speaking of GT, it was he and Yasser Shahin who did the business in race two in Fanatec GT World Challenge. Powered by AWS, this series returns at Sandown. Later this year, Chris Stubbs, always good racing in the GTs.